Conrad, thanks for coming out to the clinic. I uh, want to point out a couple things here. Notice when you put the arms in, you're kind of driving them down right there and there. You look at the angle of the left arm, it's downward, and the right arm is sort of dropping the shoulder all the way through the extension there. You want to make sure that those the hands, elbows, and shoulders are just barely below the surface of the water when you extend out in front. And this is uh, particularly for your left arm. It's important that you're not driving that down like that. See that angle there? The right arm's better. See that one's, even though it's quite low below the water, it's straight out in front, where the right one's diving down quite a bit. Also, uh, I'd like you to do some catch-up freestyle. Let the hands come around and touch because notice where when one hand enters the water, the other one's down by the waist. So you want to try to make sure we're aligning everything up and uh, working on your extension and your, your glide there. You know, you're, you're gliding right there and there, but we've got to get the other arm around a little bit quicker uh, in a sense to catch up with that, uh, that other arm. So um, that's the main thing is do some uh, catch up freestyle, do some six kick drill where you focus on you know putting the arm out and, and right below the surface, making a straight line from your fingertips down to your hips. And that's the idea of gliding through that water. You can see right there, the left arm is not. There's no real glide going on right there. It's a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of resistance at that point, on that. All right. So that's the main thing. Over rotating a little bit onto the right hip and not enough over onto the left side either. So you know, the catch up freestyle will help you uh, work on that. Above water looks good. You know, we're trying to get the elbows up. Uh, Extend out in front, put the hands out, straight out from the shoulders. And that's what you're doing there, looking for anything that's basically to make you look up, see if you're uncomfortable and you look you good, good there. Uh, so the above water looks pretty good. Again, the thing that I really want to see is, is this hand just entering the water out in front and extend forward, almost so like you're reaching for the far wall. Uh, and then, and then like, rotate through, extend the shoulders and rotate the hips. Don't try to move the whole body together. Uh, but once that hand enters the water, you want to extend the shoulders and rotate the hips instead of rotate the shoulders and the hips together. Hopefully that'll help, and wish you the best of luck.